I had like at the time I broke down, I had like zero dollars in my yep. bank account. Would you had advice for a, a young person getting ready to start? Start now. Start Parking. now. Don't wait. Don't wait. If you have the mindset of being responsible, get after it. Hey guys, welcome to Proximity Podcast. We are here with Brock Crandall. Brock is the owner of Stocked Up. We actually do business together. Yes, we do. Um, so I love what you're doing. It's crazy. I think that you've built something out. There was already some stuff in that area, right? So was when you started Stocked Up, I'm going to let you tell us everybody what it is. Yeah. And then tell us again, like, were you worried about the competition that was already in that field? Or were you thought, hey, I can specialize here and I can knock this out of the park? So what is Stocked Up? I, I actually know what it is, but you tell the story. Yeah, yeah. So Stocked Up is a pre-arrival grocery delivery company for, you know, short-term rentals. Um, we put, we're like a white glove service. We put everything in the fridge and on the counter and we kind of combine concierge and tech together so they can order, you know, groceries on our, you know, website platform. Um, they can order from anywhere in town that we offer. Um, and we kind of like combined it with like local companies here too, to give them more exposure. So okay. like, you know, we have actually you know, Archie's Dog Co. on there. So if oh, people really? are traveling with their pets, they okay. can buy a bag of dog treats for their pets, you know. Nice. So they can get all prepared for their trip. They get up here, they don't have to worry about, like, their first thing is, like, we got to get groceries for the week. Dude, I hate you that. Know? I yeah. hate going to, we, we go to Florida for, like, a spring break, and then you go spend an hour and a half at, at the motherfucking grocery store. Yep, yeah. And I hate that. It'd be <laughs> so nice just to walk in, and because the kids are always tired when you get there, and it's just like, man, can we just chill? Nope, going to the grocery store. Right, yeah. And, like, when we partner with, like, you know, the mitten group and stuff. Yep. We want to make you guys look good. You know, hey, we offer this service. Yep. Um, you know, and everything's put away, and they walk in, and they're just like, they're just unpacking. They don't have to be like, you know, let's go to the store. Who's going to the store? Rock, paper, scissors, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that so, is beautiful, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so where the idea, like, kind of originated from, and, and, and this has kind of been happening for, for you know, like you go to yep. Hawaii or you go to Jamaica, and they kind of have that service, but you write down the list, and you send it to them, and then they kind of send you the receipt. Or what, or however they handle the transaction. This is all, you know, online. So um, my my question then would be: I thought I didn't know you were just Airbnb pre arrival. Do you have any like um, do you have any clients that second home clients? Yeah, that call yeah, that? absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we actually do home delivery as well. So it's a very competitive regular. space, yeah. Um, but you know, we're we're very hyper local. We built yep. a local team. Um, you know, crowdsource workers where it's just like anyone can pick them up and go. Um, you have a team. We have so a team. So you yeah. have people. It's not like you're getting some random dude in an app. Right. Right. Like the the gross. The order comes in. Yeah. And you have a you, you do you assign it or do you just have like a, people on staff? People are people working on from staff. People are working. And then they just like, hey, I'll go do this, and then they go do it. So what's the main part of your business? I mean, is the main part like regular grocery delivers, or the main part pre arrival stuff? Well, it depends on the season. Yeah. Um. You know, summer obviously it's like, you know, ninety percent pre arrival. Sure. Um. And then. 10% home, and then it kind of flops in the wintertime. Sure. You know, we get a lot of people that want home delivery in the wintertime, you yeah, know, especially for, sure. for driving on the roads and stuff like Don't that. Don't want to get out. Yeah, yeah. But also the, like, local communities like, been super supportive of, like, you know, hey, we'll switch over. You yeah. know, like, this is cool that you're starting this in town. It kind of keeps, you know, when you spend money with the big guys or whatever, it's going out to San Diego yeah. or wherever. So, like, it kind of keeps the, the money here in yeah. town. Um, so, so, yeah. So then – I'm a big believer in if something's been done, I can do it, yep. right? Unless it's some astrophysics bullshit that I don't know anything about. Yeah. But if it's a business idea or something crazy, I can, I can do that too. So you saw all these other big companies doing it, and that did not scare you. No. It gave no. you hope, I'm guessing. Yeah. Like, oh, I could do that. Yep. So so tell me about that. Like You're like, you know what? I'm going to compete with Grubhub, and I'm going to compete with this person and that person. And like you just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Or yeah. Like, how did this come about? Yeah. So I traveled out to Colorado with like seven buddies. How do you start this? How do you wake up and go, <laughs> I am going to compete with these big multi-billion dollar. I mean, they're raising money oh, too yeah. and they have VCs yep. and so they're not going to run out of money. They're no, getting their valuation. Right. They're getting all that. And you're just like, fuck it. Yeah. Bootstrapping baby. Like, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Um, so basically I went out to Colorado. Okay. Uh, we, we skied Breckenridge, Bale, um, Keystone. We were out there for seven days, and we flew in, No, you know, rented a car, you know, or one of our buddies lived out there, so we hopped in his truck, yep. and our first stop was the grocery, grocery store. store. But we had all our, you know, all our shit in there, yep. you know, and boots, boards, everything. Um, we just, like, really had no room for anything else. But 
you know, we're seven dudes going so to the six, grocery you got store. Six pack out of the deal. We went home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're seven dudes. We're like, we came back with a bag of potato chips and a pack of beer, and we're like, dude, we need like actual food, like, <laughs> you know. So, but. We didn't know where the grocery stores were, yep. you know, and, and some of the grocery stores didn't offer, you know, like beer and liquor at the same spot. So yep. we were really running around town. But like, so we went out there the first year and I was like, man, this would be nice to just show up and get on the mountain because yep. you're buying an Epic Pass, which is like 600 bucks. Yep. You want to ski every single second you get yeah, out there. But yeah. And we spent probably the whole day. Well, it was like we got there at like 10 a.m. But the mountains close at three or four. Know, yeah. They don't have night skiing. So. It was like we wasted the whole day shopping around to get our stuff for the next five days now that we, you know, so we lost a day. So that really like urged me and I, we went out again the second year and I had a full time job at this point. So I went out there the second year. I was like, man, this would be like, I would use this. Mm-hmm. Like I asked my buddies, like, would you guys like, you know, go in on this? Like, like, would you guys like buy, like purchase items before we got there? Like and split it up and whatever. Like, dude, that would be huge. Yep. So that's like kind of where it was like in the back of my mind for a while. So that was the aha Sle- Couldn't moment. sleep. I was like, man, how am I going to do this? Like, because this was like kind of in the air, era of like where Chip was raising money, Instacart yeah. was raising money. So you know, you everyone like, was. Were you like at home penciling out on a notepad? Like this would work this way and drawing out like how it would work? Or yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, so I got laid off for COVID. You okay. know, worked at a manufacturing plant. Um, and I got laid off for two or three weeks. All right. And I was like, man, I don't really want to go back, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go back. <laughs> I got that, like, freedom, and I'm like, dude, this is nice. Um, we just, I just called my buddy up, my college roommate. I was like, what do you think about this idea? He wouldn't go on the ski trip with us, but I was like, what do you think about this idea? And this t- at this point, he had two kids, and he's like, dude, I would love not to have to take my kids to the grocery store when I go on vacation. Sure. Like, dude, that's, like, the last thing I want to do, you know. And no, like, it sucks. I, yeah. do it. I do it every year. It sucks. Yeah, yeah. So, we, uh, I just... He's like, dude, let's do it. So we just hopped on our computers and just started building, building whatever we could figure so you out. Can, you can program? We, we code, yeah. So yep. we're, we're not really, we're not developers by nature, but sure. we learned how to, you know, YouTube University. So you coded but, the whole thing? Uh, we didn't start coding the whole thing. We started with like a WordPress and yep. we, we just combined a bunch of plugins to make something work. Yep. It was like very duct taped together. Okay. Um, but then we met our um, CTO which is now he is um, part of the company, and he built this out, a brand new website from bottom bottom up, um, coded it. I helped code. He, t- he teaches me, you know. So it's, it's like, like the like, movies where there's headphones. Yeah, dude, we're smashing just smashing Red Bulls. We're just, just sitting there like, oh, dude, yeah, it's <laughs> like, you know, and I'm sitting there. It's like a foreign language to me, yep. you know, in, in the beginning, and now I can, I'm a little dangerous with it, so I can, like, do whatever I want. But, you know, it's like it was just crazy to, like, from, to, like, look back from now. To How long was that process? So to build out like the f- our first platform, you, our you MVP. Call, from the time you call your buddy, yeah, like, yo, man, he's like, let's run it, to the first website yeah. being built. Eight months. Eight months. Eight months of straight. Dude, I was living with three dudes. What like, were you doing for work? Nothing. Like, I quit. Were you doing shipped? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Market I research? thought about it. I thought about it. No, I thought about it. But we're, like, doing a different, you know, service where, you know, we have, you know, trust between us two that we have yep. property codes and things like that. So... We wanted to build something a little different, a little more white glove service for your guests. Um, so you just saved up money. You had some money yeah, saved some up. Yeah, some money saved job, up. Yep. And you yep. said, "Fuck it, let's." Live. We're gonna. Ru- were you already living with them, or did so you decide to live with them? I was already living with them. So I okay. had, I, dude. I was paying like, I think three twenty five a month. I was living in a basement. So are those two part of the company? No, no, they're not. I was living with three other guys, so four okay. of us total. Okay. And so I was in, I was in the basement room. So it was literally like those stories where you like just you're like, a coder. yeah, like dude, I just like, like rolled out of my bed in my boxers and just got on the computer <laughs> and just started going, you know, it was like, it was, I don't know, like looking back, I was like, man, this is like clearly. Okay. So I always talk about this, like you're, you're, you run out of money at some point in time. Right. But yep. like there's two types of entrepreneurs. One is the pragmatic one. That's like, they, they have a passion project that they start, they have their job and they're working their passion project at nighttime. And, and it builds and it builds. And then they replace their job with their passion project that becomes their full-time business because they blew it up. Yep. Right? And then there's people like myself, and it sounds like you, that are like, this is what I'm going to do. This is all I'm going to do. Fuck it. If I run out of money, I guess I'm moving back home. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, I worked at JNS South Airport okay. Diner to pay off bills. And, you know, they were lucky. I mean, I was lucky to have Tiffany and Jason. They were like, well, you know, whatever you need, come work when you need to. Yep. You know, um, I just, you know, I, I did run out of money, you know? Yep. So it's like, 
shit, I got to do something. <laughs> so, but I could literally walk to there to work. I didn't even have mm. to, you know, it wasn't like a far drive or anything. I mean, I drove obviously, yep. but, um, so worked there for a while and it's funny. You see your friends come in and you dinner like, what are you doing here? Like, you know, it's like, Oh, building I'm, a yeah, business, just, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was like, <laughs> you know, I, but it, you just keep your, you know, your chin up and be like, Dude, yeah, I'm just, you know, paying yep. bills and, and getting, no, one know, of my, what I got to do. One of my first businesses was a baseball facility indoor. It just couldn't pay the, couldn't pay me. It could pay for itself, but it couldn't pay me. So I was working at Pangea's Pizza. Yeah. And it my friends are like, don't you own a business? And I'm like, yeah, this is what owning the business looks like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like working fucking nights yeah. at a pizza joint. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I, th- I don't think people realize that. Like as soon as you start a business, people think like, oh, you're a business owner. You yeah. must be successful. No. It's like, dude, no. I'm half brain like, damaged. I'm half brain yeah. dead. Yeah. I might be an idiot, but I'm not sure yet. Yep. Still figuring that one out. Yeah, so you so build this thing out. Yep. <clears throat> and you're just, you're just, how do you get? grocery stores to be like all right brock never heard of you yep you're not so a big company you're not <laughs> your, your ceo right. didn't call me here you are yeah like who are you why would i let you use my inventory right so we basically just scrape products from sites and yep. we started with 800 products that we thought people would buy okay um, you know we did work on uh, village market and elk rapids we were gonna like work with them and they you know, we set we we built out, and we literally had like I was manually entering in every product, SKU, product picture, and you would talk to them, and you can do that. We, we talked to them, and they were like, "Hey, we don't have pictures, but we can get you, you know, okay. we can get you some inventory stuff." But like uploading the pictures and stuff into our site, we didn't have no like automatic way of doing it. Yeah. So I was just sitting there, dude. I did like I think we had twenty five thousand products at some point. That you entered all of them, or you and your buddies? Yeah, did. we yeah we just entered all of them, and, and it was like, and it just didn't work out. So it was just like, we just wasted, you know, like months probably. What didn't work out? The deal with them? Yeah, it just didn't work out. It wasn't gonna work. Um, okay. Just the way the way we wanted the system to, to happen just sure. wasn't it wasn't fluid enough for them. Oh you man! Know. So yeah. you start off, you come out so, of that with yeah. just absolute issues. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love this is my favorite part, dude. Yeah. Like you're running. I'm running out of money. I'm a waiter. I'm serving at JNS, which I was whatever. actually not a waiter. I was a busboy. Busboy, <laughs> which I mean, hey, oh, dude, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But like, when you're trying to start a business and you're like, it's so hard to leave that business for the four hours or five hours you have to go. Right. It, mentally, it's just like I can't be here right now because I can't even think. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I did the best I could because yeah. I love Jason and Tiffany over there. They're yep. they're great. Um. And I, d- I wanted to give them everything I could when I worked there because they were offering me, like, hey, leave when you need to, come work. Yep. Try to give us as many hours as you can, obviously. Yep. But so, so um, you, you started the village market. Yep. That doesn't didn't work, work out. out. So then we just ended up going with Meyer and just scraping products off their site. Later on, we actually got KJ introduced us to his cousin who works at Meyer. KJ Sayer. Yeah. Okay. From our so, office. Yeah. His cousin, I think his cousin's name is. Kyle. Yep, yep, yep. So he works. Yeah. At, he works at Meyer. He works at Meyer. Introduced us to the director of e-commerce there. Okay. And um, we got to meet. So we went down to Grand Rapids, and this was last year. Okay. And we went down there, and they like loved what we were doing, and they're like, "Dude, you guys niched into a like awesome spot. Like those are usually the companies that you know make it." And he's like, "Meyer, we're doing our own delivery right now, and yeah, we we're p- partnership with Shipped, and you know those guys, but like." They're competing with free now because we're doing it for free. Yep. And we're just growing our delivery, you know, home delivery. Yep. But you guys are creating partnerships with, you know, Airbnb hosts, managers, and you guys are actually like niching into an area with like a white glove service. Yep. That's something the M- Meyer doesn't want to like, you know. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They don't want to have. No. Relation, you know, it's it's just uh, whatever. So they were like, "Love what you're doing. Let's see what we can do to work together." You know, so. So you build all the way. Now you build so up with with Meyer, which is much easier because yeah. you have a shit ton more stuff. Yeah, they have a ton of stuff. We basically added these products on our site, and we started with like a very limited amount. We didn't have Costco when we first started. We just had okay. Meyer and like like Benjamin Twigs. We signed up. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, Great Lakes Chocolate. We had for a while. We had bakery, local bakery, Aunt Snacks. Okay. Um, you know, people order want to, you know, sure. a special birthday cake for someone else. They, you know, they're yep. celebrating a birthday, traveling. Now, do you um, talk to anybody from the group, or do they just do it right in the right in the right in the internet? Right in the what website? do you mean, talk like, to me from the like group? Like so, like for example, we're, we're the Airbnb host. We're yeah. the Airbnb host. Our guest, boom, we send them a message, right, and it says, "Hey, we partnered with Stocked Up." Yep. Do they go to the like? Do you ever talk to them if they want something special, or is it just all on the internet, all so, on the website? So we have like a special request form if they need okay. something special. Got um, 
or they'll reach out and say, hey, can you guys actually grab something from here, whatever. Yep. Um, so we'll, we'll deal with that or hand, handle that. But it's mostly all on the Internet. Like, we've it's hasn't been anything, like, too crazy. Yep. We tried to do some, like, you know, breakfast boxes where it's, like, it comes with all your essentials for breakfast, but yep. people wanted to edit it too much where it was just like, hey, just order your, yeah. you know, just, so just pick out your list. So you have how many people own the business? Four stocked. Yeah. Uh, three of us. Three of us. Yep. You, Zach, Zach, and Walker. Walker yep. and Walker is a CTO. Yep. yep. So I mean, you're using like I mean, chief technology officer, obviously. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, yep. who's the CEO? You. Yes. And then he's the president or something. What do you guys? Zach is CEO. CEO. Yep. So you have operations. All, yep. So you're doing it all. Okay. Yeah. So you got the. Obviously, you probably didn't have a ton of money to pay somebody. So you said, "Hey, we don't need money, but if you build this website, we'll give you equity. Equity. Yep. Basically, stock yep. shares, essentially. Yeah. So you give them equity." Now, here you are, is it a little over a year later? Yeah. Yep. A year later, are, are we profitable yet? Uh, some months, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but you're able to live off of it. Yeah. No, yeah, we're, we're able to pay, you know, if I do the deliveries myself, I can make money off the yep. deliveries. Yep. Um, but we haven't really paid ourselves at the all yet. yet. Yeah, no. No, That's we're just throwing it back into the business and building out better, being better, um, trying to onboard more properties as we go. And yep. How many How many um, grocery stores are you working with right now? Grocery stores or just three grocery stores. So okay. Tom's, Meyer, Costco. Okay. Um, How many vendors total? Uh, yes. Don't have to tell me. I know I, I should know this, but <laughs> <laughs> I think we have 15. 15? So yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, we're actually working with Edson Farms currently trying to get them on board. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yep. Yep. What is the craziest thing anybody's asked you? Is there like any off the wall shit? Like, hey, dude, can you go to the weed store and get, pick me up like <laughs> five ounces? I mean, no, like, no. is there any crazy things you ever get, or is this all pretty standard shit? Pretty standard stuff. No yeah. one. I mean, I think there was one time someone got like three, four boxes of condoms. And I was like, <laughs> damn, was like good. someone's coming to party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Um, but yeah, so we. Uh, that was a two night stay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but. Nothing like crazy, you know. Yeah. Nothing, nothing that like sticks in my head. That's like. So you're you're bootstrapping this thing, and I, this is this is I love this. Like, you quit the job. Did the other two guys have jobs? Yes. Okay, so they kept so their jobs. They they have their job. Well, Zach has his, had his job for the first year. Yep. And then he was like on the brinks of being like, dude, I can't handle like a full time job and okay. Docked. And he was like close to quit, and I was like, dude, do what you got to do, like. Would love to keep you on board because we built this together. But yep. like, he's like, I was like, I don't want to see you leave. I don't want to like, I want to build this together. This is yep. why I called you. This is why, you know, this is why I, I wanted you to start this with me. Is you know, yeah, for sure. And so uh, what does he do? He gets another job. No, quits the main job and gets a small quits job. The, quits the main job and yep. starts consulting. Okay. So he does like 20, 30 hours of consulting a week, and then 20, 30 hours of stocked a week. Sick. So. Just figuring it out. Living the you life. Know, yeah. So he's like, dude, that was the best move I could that's have ever what, done. That's one thing that people think, like, oh, I work for myself. I just, no, you work more. Oh, yeah. You don't yeah. work 40 hours anymore. Doesn't turn now off. you work 150 hours. Yeah, you dream about it. You're day. still working. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So y- this is crazy. I, I love this because just, just the, 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 the simple fact that you just said, two feet, here we go. What's the worst that can happen? What's the best that can happen? Probably going to land somewhere in the middle, I'm guessing. Yeah. Like, and the worst that happens is I have to go get another job and pay some bills. Yeah. Big fucking deal. Yeah. The, the, the worst that actually happens is you don't take that chance, and you regret for the rest of your life yeah. not taking this chance. Yeah. That, I mean, I was sitting up in the manufacturing shop staring out a window yeah. on my computer. I'm like, dude, am I going to turn 50? Am I going to blink and turn 50 and be like, dude, what did I just do with my whole, with life. My whole life? Was that you, Sean? Did you think like that? <laughs> what was that? Yes, I did. Sean, Sean had a similar job, and, 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 and he took a big leap of faith, too. So I find it interesting, dude, whenever I see somebody that's just willing to say, fuck it, throw caution to the wind, like that person, they deserve it all. Like, I just feel like they deserve everything they get and, and more, especially if you're treating people right and, and you're doing the right things, which, I mean, you know, your friend, you gave them all, you gave them all equity in the company. Yeah. So yeah. you guys obviously, did you go the LLC route? Yeah, and yep, then we're you LLC, got yep. had an attorney yep. figured out, and then when you yeah. wanted to bring the third guy in, you amended that. Yep. So it's not not impossible. No, no. I mean, and and those don't cost that much. And tho- you know, those two guys have two kids. Yep. And it's like I didn't want them to risk that. Yep. So I was like, I'll take all the risk. You guys keep whatever you got to do. 
just help me when I need help. Yep. Basically. So now, do you do you deliver a lot in the wintertime then? Yeah, actually, we've been, you know, each year growing 50% each month. Whoa. So yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So, like, your regular grocery orders have grown that much? Yeah, so, like, you know, started with 10, and 10 a month the first year, you know, then 20. Now it's 40. You know, so it's, like, it's. So how do you make, like, so how does the business, like, I mean, I know how ship, like, do you do you just take the products and you add a little percentage on, and then yep. you get, then you get a tip. Yep. You deliver. Yep. Yep. So we have a ten dollar delivery fee per per store. We okay. don't have like subscription. Yep. Or anything like that. Um, you know, we really want to niche into that vacation like stock right, yep. fridge. So it's ten dollars to the door, ten dollars in the fridge. So twenty do- twenty dollars total for the delivery. Yep. Small markup on the products. Yep. Um, and then the tip. Okay. So I mean, so the more you, I mean, obviously it scales. Yeah. 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 Yep. Like, when do you – so this is the biggest part. Like, you're going to scale, you're going to grow up, you're going to go big, you're going to blow up, you're going to go big. And then have you figured out yet how many orders one driver can take before you have to add another driver? Yeah, so I think I did mo- – the most I did in a day, because I was the guy. I was the only guy yep. running, and I think the most orders I did in a day was 10. 10 orders in a yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. So, do you, so do you, that's it. Like, if somebody gets 10 orders, you're like, okay, I need another person. Yes. Like, yeah, the exactly. hard part with your business is it's, it's – well, we have a six-hour window. Yeah, exactly. So you don't you don't have all night. Yeah, but we build out the route, right? So yep. pick all of it up, and then we drive the route. What platform do you use for that? What do you mean? Like build out the route? Do you just build it out? Oh in yeah, your we head? have. So we have an. Op, it's called Optimal Route. Okay. We basically yeah. just throw in all the addresses in there. It builds out our route the way we need it to. Yeah, we have that. We have a system like that for our trailers. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Where the best way to go is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, oh man. So I mean, it's really like, it's really heavily dependent on you getting the word out. So tell me how you're marketing this thing other than just like calling up Bree and saying, Hey, I want to yeah. deliver groceries <laughs> for you guys. Like, what is the word? Like, that this, was is, this is cool. I like this. I'm learning right. a lot about it. Actually. I mean, I knew about you. I knew what you were doing, but I didn't, I never knew the story. And yeah. now, now it's like, I just wanted to ship you all kinds of business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, um, word of mouth, just being a local here yep. my whole life, basically. I mean, moved to Detroit for a year, hated it. Yep. You know, moved back up here, you know, um, just knew a lot of people. Um, then I just Googled, like, property management companies, called them up, um, got a meeting with them, coffee, you know, especially this time of year, it's easier to meet with oh, yeah, you guys because, sure. you know, everyone's got a little bit of time because, yep. you know, you're working, you know, kind of on the business at this point and not in it. In the yep. summertime, everyone's working in it. Everybody's you know, just hustling. trying to swim. Oh, yeah. Trying to keep your yeah. like, <laughs> like doggy paddle and to stay alive. Exactly. Yeah. So are you working with Troy? Yep. Daily? Yep. Daily yep. he was on Troy here, Daly, too. Yep. So yep. that's yep. awesome. He's a good dude. Oh, great dude. guy. I yeah. love Troy. Um, but everyone that we work with has <coughs> been absolutely amazing. I mean, they're just so like, how can we help you? If let's, we would love this for our guests. How do we, you know, how do we sign up? So do you feel like, like, okay, so do you feel where you're at, the sustainable part where you're like, I'm going to make it, or do you still feel like you're teetering on that? Because I don't <laughs> Te- know, like, teetering for sure. For sure. I so mean, yeah. Does that ever go away? I don't know. You I know? think it does eventually. Yeah. I think when you get when once you I pay myself, I feel like I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. it. So you're yeah. still. I mean, this is the greatest part. Like, I like having you here because you're right in the thick oh, of dude. the shit. Yeah. Like this is what entrepreneurship is. Yeah. Like to a T. Like this is what it looks like. This is what it feels like, and it's sleepless nights. Oh, it's do I can I pay my bills? Am I eating ramen, or can I go? Out to, can I <laughs> yeah. go out for dinner tonight? Yeah. yeah, you know. So, like, tell me about the sac- some sacrifices you've made um, to make this work. Like, what are some things you had to cut back on? What are some things you, you did? You have to do anything like that? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, when I so when I first quit, I just paid off my truck. Yeah, you know, had a six year lease or loan yep. you know on it and uh just paid it off and i was like man this is great and then i quit my job and i'm like i need a delivery vehicle so Jeez. trade in the truck you know buy the van okay um you know so now i can't tow anything like i had i had a boat <laughs> don't yeah. use that anymore you know Still like yet? yeah not yet it's <laughs> just sitting in storage okay. so um I was close. So you were close living like a real, you were living like a real big boy life, like a job, a I boat, had a job, a truck. Well, yeah, at, at you know twenty three, bought a house. Like I was and living the life. You just traded it all in. Well, yeah, yeah, for the dream. Yep. Fucking a yeah. man, like that's yeah. where it's at. You just said, let's go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And do you feel like? I mean, are you feeling good about this? Like seriously, are you still like, fuck? I hope I make it. Or are you like, you know what? If I don't, 
whatever. I still have my degree. I can get another job. Oh, I mean, I, I'm a, I feel like I've learned so much where yeah. I could, I'm going to be fine no matter what happens. But like, I'm in that zone where like, this is going to happen. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no way besides going to the top. Yep. You know, so yeah. What's the next? I don't even think. I mean, that's the thing is like you don't even know because you're in it right now. So like, yeah. what's the next thing you're working on? Like other than just so so we actually ice just, cream. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> work on ice cream. Yeah, more. two years ago I started a coffee shop in Elk Rapids. What? Yeah. So me and a buddy, um, Luke so you're Morrison. In the middle, yeah, you're in the middle of this. So in the middle of the stock. I was not making know, money, not making any money. And you're like, fuck it. Here we I, go. This is a good yeah, idea. Let's so, do another business. Yeah. So I did, an, I did another business. We, we totally revamped a pop-up camper okay. into a mobile coffee shop Okay. and put it in Elk Rapids. And then there was one customer that come, come, come coming back. She's like, I got a spot for you guys downtown if you're ready. And I was like, ah, you know, I got a lot going on. Not sure if that's like what I really want to do. And then I went and she finally looked at the space. And I was like, I cannot pass this up. Really? So where's it at? It's downtown Elk Rapids. Um, where that? You got the foundry down there. So it's past the foundry. Okay. That last building um, on the right, if you're going towards like the bay. I'm giving you money. Have Didn't you? Didn't even know it. Last summer. Did you we go? Did you go to Happy Camper? Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah. My wife and I went to the beach out there like four times last summer because we had never. We're from Traverse City, so the beach is right here. Right. Right. And we're like, can we do something different? And so she's like, what about Elk Rapids? And so we went out there and explored Elk Rapids. I mean, we don't really explore Elk Rapids too much, right? Like yeah. downtown. It's kind of off the beaten path. But you know, we like just, just chilled, did, did like the whole beach thing right there in town and put a tent up for the whole day, walked in, grabbed a coffee, walked in, grabbed dinner, and then said, you know, let's try it again next weekend. Did yeah. it again. And yeah, dude. So I did not know that was you. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get your name out there, bro. <laughs> like we, you know KJ, right? Like yeah. You got to work on the no, social media game, homeboy. I know. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> I, it's a lot. You know, it's like, I mean, I'm running, you know, I, I, know. Run, I run a couple I'm of ads on Facebook for yep. Stocked and stuff. Um, nothing really for Happy Camper yet. Okay. Um, it's, it's about a year and a half in that spot. But that's going, I mean, that's paying for itself? Yeah. Now, yeah is it's it paying good. you? Yeah, sometimes. I love this. Dude. Yeah, but sometimes. You know, I'll go, I work once or twice a week probably. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. So yeah. you go to El so Rapids and work at the coffee shop? Oh, yeah. Dude, make a mean the latte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do the morning yeah. shift out there? Dude, I'm there all day. Th- we only run 6.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. So I'll run the whole day, and then after that, I'll go do deliveries. How do you get – well, I mean, your delivery's got to be done by usually four. Well, home deliveries. Home deliveries. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we have we have a couple, cu- you know, clients in town that are just like, hey, we're going to place this order, but just just grab it any time. Like, we don't care what time you get it to That's us. Nice. Yeah. How many – how many, like – how many – do you do a subscription service on this ever, do you think? Or no, is it not worth Un- like that? Unstocked? Yeah. At some point, probably. You pull it off? I'm just curious. I'm just trying to. I'm, yeah, I'm no, recurring revenue to, would be nice. but time to brainstorm this yeah. in the middle of a podcast. But yeah, we thought about that, but we just weren't sure how we would do it sure. yet. You know. But you said so you have pretty loyal customer base, though? What's that? A pretty loyal customer base? Pretty lo- loyal. Loyal, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So you got customers that are just like, Brock, yep. groceries, Brock, yep. groceries. Yep. Any, no mobile app. No mobile app, but our website is very mobile friendly. So it like looks like you're on an app, okay. basically. Any any ever going to do a mobile app? or are you just gonna stay Maybe with someday. It? When you um, got, when you got yeah. money to actually buy things? Yeah, maybe someday. I think, like, we really <laughs> want to try to just nail down that white glove service for property managers, yep. you know, and, and somehow, you know, at some point see how we can integrate better so it's more fluid. How So, know. okay, yeah. So, I mean, I know the process. Like, I know, for example, we get a booking. Yep. And we send out. Too much. I mean, in my mind, we sent out like a five paragraph fucking message, which is too much. Right. And somewhere in there, we say we partner with Stocked Up, or that might be our third message that we send somebody. Right. Partner with Stocked Up, they'll have your groceries delivered. Boom. And then, I mean, so that's kind of how they find it. Yeah. But what's a is there a better way? I mean, that's like how else would you do it? Right. So we're thinking about like somehow with like the booking system, like they can like click a checkbox or something that's like, hey, are you interested in this service? You know, when you book. Yep. And that way, it's like. Okay, boom, we got their contact info. We can reach out to them and be like, hey, it looks like you booked with the Mint Group. You know, how can we help you? What do you need when you show up? Interesting. That's an Airbnb thing, though. Like a VRBO thing almost, because we can't implement a bot. Check, or like Unless you have, you know, booked direct. Book direct, right. Yep. Yeah. So that's so something that, we're, you know, we want to work with. You know, you that's know. growing a lot for us. So Yeah, like with you guys, because we, we see that. We see, like, people are booking direct more. Oh, yeah. And, you know, 
the more people that book direct, the more people that use us because really? well, Airbnb almost hides the email. You know, they, they don't let you send links. They don't let you send, you know, yeah. so you can't really send us that or it, send out it, that info. I don't know. Some, some people figured it out. I don't know, but it just says stocked up and then, yeah. And then they have they to go. go yeah, yeah. 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 But I think v, uh, VRBO actually lets you send out links that you can click on and go, you know, and things like that. But interesting. Yeah. So God dang, I th- we're talking about one business, not about two businesses. So, so you're starting stocked up. Yep. And it's going, you're in the middle of it, you're yep. in the thick of it, and then you're just like, I need another job. <laughs> That's not going to pay me money. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> when I work it, I'm, I'll make money, you know? No, no, no. I know yeah. that. But yeah. that is a lot, that's just crazy that you were like that that strong and passionate about those two things yeah. that you could do both and be like, all right, here we go. Yeah. Um, I mean, um, it, I, I loved it. Uh, Java Jones in Elk Rapids actually went out of business. So I was yeah. like, no coffee shop there, like good time to go in. It's not bad. Um, you know, but why I, they go out of business? I mean, what the hell? Well, There's I no think coffee shop she was, she was an older, older lady. Oh, she I think she was just ready to retire and be done. Yep. Um, so we kind of like, was like, this is our time. We're either going to move into this building or we're just going to stay a mobile coffee hut and, you know, not really make any money. How long are you, are you going to give, like, like, do you have a timeline on this? You're like, I'm going to give this five years of my life. And if it doesn't, which company? <laughs> fucking either one man <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you choose uh um stocked up like you're five years from now and you're only getting paid to deliver are you gonna right. keep doing it you're gonna be like i know i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it yeah Fuck yeah 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 it's gonna so i you think don't, you don't have a timeline on yeah. it. yeah good for you i think the coolest part of what we're doing is is we really want to get these local companies more exposure i think you know like the yep. dog like archie's dog treats we want to get people to order for their dogs when they're traveling with their dogs yep. um you know benjamin twigs specialty cherry shop like order some chocolate covered cherries you can have it there. You know, you don't have to run around town. It's going to be there right in, right in, you know, the mitten groups. They're going to put it right in your unit for you, yep. you know? So we really want to, like, give that more exposure because not everyone that comes into town is going to go to these stores. Yep. But they might order something. Correct. Being like, oh, this is cool. Like, let's and try this out. they don't even think out. about it. Yeah, and they don't even think about it. It's like, this is really cool. Like, oh, we can have all this stuff there, and now I can go on the boat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think I think the dumbest thing entrepreneurs do is they give themselves a timeline. Like, I'm going to give this a year and if it doesn't work, then I have to go back because I just, like, if you believe in it and you're, if you're an entrepreneur anyways, so now here's what happens, right? If this, let's just say, neither of these, you're going to find something else. Right. You're never going to go back to the nine to five. No. You might go back to like the waiting tables or serving coffee until the next thing pops. Yeah. I did the same thing, dude. Like I was, I was at a gym, running my business, working at a gym. And then, you know, finally I, could, I worked the business, worked just the business and then I went to college coaching, blah, 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 came back and then had a job making some money, got into real estate. And when I got into real estate, it's when I said, fuck it, that's it. And I had, I had a little bit of money saved, like 12 grand. Yeah. And it just kept going this way. You know, in real estate, you don't, you don't get paid. <laughs> right. Like, you could do all the work. You don't get paid to your clothes. So that was the same idea. It was just like, I'm going, I'm going to make it. I'm going to lock myself in this room. Kind of like you in the basement, like coding. Oh yeah. I locked myself in like this little fucking office with no window and just cold calling people like, Hey, can you sell your house? Because I, I, <laughs> I see you're trying to sell it for sale by owner. I can do better, you know. And and I think once you get a taste of that life, the entrepreneurial life, it's so satisfying. Oh yeah. And then I, you're still you're still in the early enough phase where I'm I'm guessing you're still getting like that when your phone rings. Oh, it's a dopamine hit. Just, oh my dude, god, it's like, dude, it's like, yeah. We gotta order. We gotta order. Yeah. You know, it's it's sick. Like that's gotta be the coolest feeling. Yeah. And then it's like yeah. ding ding ding, and you're like, all right, dude. The goal is to silence that. <laughs> You know, because it gets annoying. Yeah. That's the goal. That, that, yeah, let somebody else deal with it. Yeah. I understand that. So we go to the website. We place the order. It goes right to you. Like, how I, I'm yep. I, I'm always confused in the, like, the yeah, internet yeah. shit, man. Like, I can't even scan an email kinda, yeah. or something, dog. Like, someone's <laughs> got to do that shit for me. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it pops up on our phone. We built a dashboard out. Yep. We can see who ordered, who they ordered for, um, where they're staying when they're checking in and then we see their whole list of groceries that they picked out and then you know we kind of build the route on on that so you you haven't hit that triumph phase yet so i can't even ask you about that because you just told me like you're like no it's like not Dude, there yeah, yet <laughs> i'm still in this thing like, you're, like i think the biggest triumph is actually getting someone to order yeah when yeah, we yeah. first built it that's like, how dude, you feel about it. that's a great way to feel about it because that yeah. makes you that that dude, will that, make it stick dude that's like i mean we could have built this whole thing out eight months, not get a single order because no one's like because people are just like nah, yep. you know like that's we'll just go get it you know whatever, but I you know 
I think people travel enough up here that were like, dude, going to Meyer here in town, crazy. Fuck Not that. doing it. You Cherry know, festival. Fuck yeah, that. yeah. On the delivery side of things. Yeah. Right. You're delivering these things. Like, how many hours a week do you spend on this thing? I mean, like. Oh, dude, it's like nonstop. Are you at the coffee shop working on stocked up? Yeah, I'm on the computer develop, <laughs> like literally coding. Like when when the coffee shop is a little empty, yep. I'll clean up everything, make sure I'm ready for the next person to walk in, and I'm sitting down just going, you know. How many but, hours do you sleep a night? Six, seven, okay. so you know. Like, but what, like, but there's times where like? I'll stay up till three a.m. because we have something that we got to get done. We got yep. orders that we got to make sure we, you know, we find a driver for, or I'm doing them, you know. So it's like making sure that everything's set. You know, orders can come in at midnight. Oh, for sure. You know, like we're and open 24-7, go seven, seven days a week. What's that? No, but, like, we have to make sure that we know for the next day this is what we got to okay. do. Okay, do have a delivery schedule on there. You've got to have that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. you running the mire at, like, 3 in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So we Brock, do, I need a box of we condoms just, and some, <laughs> some chocolate with strawberries. Yeah, we just opened up same-day delivery again. Okay. We, we did it at first, and then... We got so busy where it was like, dude, we can't do same day, yep. especially with just me. Yep. So we ended up like, because then you can batch the orders and actually make more money. Yep. When you just have a, a route instead of going to the store, coming back. Going so to the store, this is back. this is a when you wake up to when you go to bed, like it's either you're either working on it or thinking about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's and not, it's got to fire you up. Oh, dude, I get like the coffee shop is a little easier. I'm guessing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. It's, once you set up, you know that system. Yeah. Once you set up everything. Um, and my girlfriend's mom actually basically runs it. You have it. a girlfriend? Yeah. She yep. can deal with this, all this shit? Barely. Barely. <laughs> <I was kidding. laughs> she puts me in my place, though. She's been uh, very helpful with everything. She'll Does go on she? deliveries with me. There She'll do go. deliveries. Yeah. Like, just whatever she, she can do to help out. Common, I mean, common theme of this show has been someone's partner. The partner's always got to be the right person. Because yeah. yep. if, they, if they are miserable, either they won't be a partner anymore. Right. Or they'll make you miserable. Yeah. And then either both the job suffers, the, the, the entrepreneurial spirit suffers. Yep. Right? And the relationship suffers, or you're just like, this is more important than you, so right. you gotta go. Yeah, and that sucks. So yeah, when, when they're supportive and a part of it, does she ever make coffees? Oh yeah, she, yeah, Hell she comes yeah. to work. Yeah, she, this is like she worked harbor days up in El Crabbe's with me, yep. and we were slammed like all six hours we were open. Just you know, pressing but she was in. there just taking orders, and I was making the. You know, it's just you know we just we're good team. This is nuts. Good team. Dude. That's what that that has been the theme. Like everybody's yeah. like my. We are a great team. We, yep. we are, my, my spouse and I are a great team. My, my wife and I, like, we got our systems figured out. We yeah. know who's where, when they're supposed to be there, how to support each other when, when, when something's going south. Yeah, like, yeah that's things do great. get hard, though. You know, oh, like, for yeah. For sure. Yeah. We just got to understand, like, you know, she does that, I do this. How long have you been together? Uh, three years now. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you finally figured out, like, how to live how to live with each other and yeah. how to accept, like, each other's bullshit. Yep. Because everybody has that. Oh, yeah. And then you're like, hey, by the way, a year later, because you're only together for a year when you started these businesses, I'm guessing. Uh, I started the business a year before she came into the picture. No shit. Yeah. So she came into it like a year when you. Oh yeah, she. How came did you even in, meet this in, chick? Yeah, she when came. did you have time? <laughs> well, it, I mean, it's a, it's a long story. Um, you know, you delivered groceries and you guys made eye contact yeah. and the rest was history. <laughs> like fuck it, no, this no, is it. no. I was actually at the sandbar and this is uh the second. I think this was the second time because. We dated at first, yep. but um, it just didn't work out. She yep. was in college. I gotcha. was up here. Yep. Um, and then the second time I was at the sandbar in Elk Lake and, you know, just with a buddy and we were just hanging there floating, you know, I was doing the business, but like no order. So I'm just like, oh, let's go to the sandbar, whatever, <laughs> you know? Um, and then her mom and her and her friend were out there on a pontoon and her mom was like, we're going to the sandbar and she didn't want to go. And mom, her mom just drove in, and then it was just the rest, rest history. of history. Yeah, yeah. So she comes in in the middle of your. I mean, that, that's yeah, a, that's that's a heavy thing to come in the middle of. Oh, she was she was you know, <laughs> we're living with. I was living with three other dudes. Yeah, she was coming over, and we were basically a frat house. You know, like <laughs> you're living with three dudes. Yeah, you just started the you just started a business yeah. that takes all of your time. So she either had the choice of of, of get involved. Or yeah. get the fuck out, which yeah. obviously that wasn't the, you know what I mean? I don't try to be harsh about that, but like, no, yeah. that was her, her choice was like, I, I'm either going to go this way or I'm going to go out the fucking door yeah. and never come back. And she chose to stick it out and say, let's, let's take this journey. Yep. That's yep. bad ass dude. Yeah. Like that, that is, that is it. Like but she doesn't have the entrepreneurial mind. That's set. Okay. She's an, she's a very like scheduled person. She yep. loves nine to five. She's done. She's checked out. But I think it's also like helps her when I'm, you know, 
up in the middle of the night yep. working. She understands. She supports it. She, yeah, she supports it. She's like, yep. I don't have that, but like, I'm glad you have it. It's like when I tell her something. When my wife and I started dating. She was she had been in working for like the real estate company since she was 15, and she was in, she was you know she was 30, so she'd been in real estate 15 years. She knew like when the phone rings, so we'd be at the dinner, and the phone would ring, and I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, what are you doing? Answer it, you know. That's that's that could be a client. Yeah. Like, if you don't recognize the number, you answer it. Yep. Like if it says dad, you can put him off and call him back in an hour, but <laughs> that could be money and you need money. Yeah. Because you, you're paying the bill, by the way. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to pay for the dinner. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. Like, but the, the support was there right away. Yeah. So that is how many people, and I want to keep going with this. So, so the partner, the right partner has been so influential on everybody who we've talked to so far. So how many people now do you have in the middle of summer that are driving for you? Four. And do they drive their own car, or do you have a bunch of stocked-up vans running around out there? So we try to use the, st- the van as much as we can, yep. but obviously we don't have more than one. So okay. they do use their own vehicle, um, but, you know, they get they get the job done, and, we know, we know them. So yep. it's not like it's just some person that's like, yep, I'll just pick it up and go. It's like, you know, we do background checks and all that and yep. make sure that we yeah, actually know them. The I do a ride along with them, yep. you know, making sure that I know the person and their personality and if they'll fit, you know. I'm glad like, you mentioned that because that was my next question. Like, you got these randos. Right. It's like, dude, who? how do you know who's driving your shit? So you right. actually do a full background yeah. check. Yeah, yep. Because like, they're in our unit. Like, right, some yeah, of the exactly. Shit, yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. I own some of these yeah. units. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the... That so you was know like, you're getting good people. One of the biggest th- things for us is, like, we don't want to be, you know, like... A shifter in his car where they can t- they'll just sign on whoever, yep. and they're smoking in their car or you know whatever you know the grocery reek of smoke Dude. and you can smell that. Yep. So it's like we make sure that clean car, no smoke. Like just, that's great. Yeah, and we have standards. Yeah, we have standards, and you know if they don't check the boxes, then it's like hey, get, you know we can't hire you. Yep. You know, but yeah. So that's it, man. How many? So in the summertime, in a summer day. Mm-hmm. Your company's running how many how many groceries do you think like like Cherry Festival week? Uh, Cherry Festival week. How many orders you fill in? Man, probably forty or fifty. Forty or fifty. Yeah, or just, that's man, that's so ten ten like yeah Cherry Festival v- weekend, but like a lot of people are yeah. hotels too. But that's still a shitload of orders. Yeah, yep. I mean, so the, how in the slow scale? season, that's like a f- that's like that's a month worth. You yeah. know, of orders. how do you scale this thing? Because that's what I'm curious about. I, I mean. Because so you are you are a you are a business that depends on people, right? Right. Yep. I mean, until we can figure out how to, how to have drones deliver shit. Yeah. Then you can hire Sean. Then you can have Sean do a side gig. Yeah. Sean can Sean can open up the drone delivery service with Perfect. you. Perfect. <laughs> so you, he could be your next partner. Yeah. Um. So how do you scale this? Like, because that is, that's a massive undertaking, to think about how many yes. bodies you could possibly need. Yes and no. And yes trucks and no. you could need. Yeah. Yes and no. Well, tell me about it. So like. You know, from us so in your we, mind, done. Like, yeah. So, yes and no. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> we've, I need the real actually, thing. Yeah. So we've actually, uh, we're working on Florida right now, Sarasota, Venice area. We've signed on like six or seven properties down there. So you're so, already, so you're not just in Traverse City. We're not just in Traverse City. Uh, okay. We haven't done an order yet down there. We haven't officially launched the platform. Um, we had to regionalize our platform so they can choose where they're staying, you know, yep. they're not going to want to see a Meyer down, in, you know, they're not going to, they can't yep. order. Um, so we regionalize that. Uh, we had a guy down there that actually lived up here. Um, okay. He reached out and he's like, dude, how can I help you guys out? You know, how, what can I do to help you grow into a different state? I want to do what you guys do. I want to be part of the team. What can I do? I was like, well, I'll tell you what, I can't pay you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I can't pay you. First, you can. Yeah. What you can do is you can work for free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's first so, and foremost. Well, you know, and, and <laughs> obviously, it's like, dude. As soon as we start actually, you know, making money, we're yep. gonna make sure you're taken care of. Like, I'll eat last. You know, like yep. I, I don't I need feel that, that. Dude, you know? I understand that. Um, so he just started call cold calling, emailing. Um, that didn't really work out that well, but there's like Facebook groups. And we just posted in a few Facebook groups, and people were, like, very interested. So he followed up, yep. got emails, you know, sent them out the stuff that they needed. And but still, how do you on. scale now? Though? Like, like, cause, like, cause like how, right. let's, just take, let's, just, let's just take Traverse City. Right. It's you delivering. Mm-hmm. Let's just say one, like, one day you, you got, all of a sudden, you have 200 deliveries a day. Like, how the fuck do you scale that? 
And it's season. It's going to be seasonal. That'd so be a good like, problem to have, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it is. But you still, it's a problem you have to. You, right. If you're going to blow it up, that's you're right. going to be there. Yeah. So have you thought about that yet? Or you just haven't so had that much time to think about that yet? Not, not yet. You know, still just just building, man. Just trying to, you know. So when you say you're just building, you say you're reinvesting the money. You Tell us what you're. Yeah. Re- what are you reinvesting into? So, just like development into the platform. Yep. Um, you know. Basically, just making sure that we have money to pay drivers. Yep. Um, and and getting out there and selling, you know, and marketing, market, marketing, a lot of marketing. I was yeah. gonna say, what? Yeah, your marketing like budget. Marketing is gonna be is gonna be big for us. Marketing so, is the biggest expense any business should have. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you have to market yourself. Um, you know, networking events and stuff like that. Boring. Yeah. I, mean, I fucking. I just think you can, that that you. I would can rather you punch me dead out. in the face. You can get burnt out of those real quick because. Oh. You know, everyone comes in and says, "Oh, dude, that's really cool," and then nothing ever comes of the networking events. Usually, or it's just a bunch of small talk, and you drink, yeah. you drink, eat some cheese, eat some crackers, and you go home, and you're like, "What the fuck? I could have been home in my socks and my shorts on my couch, hanging out, like spending some of my alone time with my yeah. girlfriend." I could have just did my whole marketing campaign for the next Correct. month, you know, or whatever. Dude, I'm, I'm, I mean this sincerely. Like, I'd rather you punch me in the face than send me <laughs> to a marketing event. I, I hate net, I hate networking. Yeah. I'm not good at it. And people are like, well, you, how do you do real estate? I'm like, my own way. Right. You don't have to do that. Right. It might help, and I get it, and it's just not me. Yeah. So I can't do it. Yep. And and, and it doesn't seem like that would be the best fit for you. Hey, by the way, if you have groceries and you need to deliver, I can deliver them for yeah. you. Yeah. Because it almost makes you feel like, like if you're there and you're like we can deliver them, it almost makes you feel like 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 a servant to them, right? Right? Yeah. Until that platform is built out and they they find you on a platform, which it's so weird. Yeah. They if you deliver their groceries to them, they're like, oh, thank you, sir, and you're just the delivery boy. But if they go to your platform and deliver, and you're like, I own stock, and like, holy shit, you own stock? Yeah. You know that that they th- th- it's funny the way they look at you differently. Yeah. No, I I, I kind of enjoy that where it's like. They look at me as just the delivery boy, and then they find out later, like, oh, dude, he actually owns this I, service. And I hate that people think like that. Right. I, I do. It's like, eat shit. But I love that you're – my favorite part, though, is, like, you're eating shit. And I love that. Like, I did that, dude, for years. Like, you just sit there, and you eat the shit, you eat the shit, until finally you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you had three companies before this, right? I've had a couple. The that baseball. Didn't work out. The baseball, the T-shirts. The T-shirts didn't go real far. Yeah. Yep, I had baseball, so I've had, oh, fuck, what have I had? I had the baseball business twice, actually. Okay. And then I had the, a t-shirt company. Um, what was the What was the name of that? I liked the name. Make a Statement? Make a Statement, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, yeah Chase, it, Chase actually told me about it, Bonehead. Oh, Bonehead? Bonehead, yeah. I used to coach yeah. his little ass. Yeah, he's like, dude, you should wear a Make a, I st- make a Statement you t-shirt want one? there. I have a shill in my basement. <laughs> I got free inventory. If you want, if you want, anybody want one, hit me up. I got larges, mediums, extra large. I got hats. Um, dude, I love that you're still hanging on to them, though. I just... It's one of those things I've moved like 40 times, right? Yeah. And they just move the boxes, move with me. Instead of being like, by the way, throw these boxes away. Yeah, someday I'll, I'll do something with these. But sometimes people, like my wife will go down, and she's like, if like if she's going to work out and her sports bra is dirty, she'll go grab a sports bra. and Or yeah. she'll be like, I'm cold. I need a sweatshirt. I'm like, well, there's like 85 fucking downstairs <laughs> that I never sold. So enough about me. Like, But, you you know, the business side of things is so crazy because you don't know where it's going to go the next day. Right. What are some twists and turns that you've faced, if any? I'm sure you have, of like I'm going. This is what it's supposed to look like, and then you go, "Oh shit, it's not what it looks like." I didn't plan for this. Right, man. It it's just been like such a just whirlwind, you know. Like one day I'll wake up and I'll be pumped. Yeah. Next day I wake up, I'll be like, "Man, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit." Yeah. You, you know. Cry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Don't be too yeah. manly. I've, I've, right I've, in front of my dad, you know, he's like. My what dad was like, "What am I doing with yeah, my life?" Yeah, oh, I had fuck, dude. One moment. That's, I love it. Yeah, one moment, and we were driving. Remember, it was like we were driving through Elk Rapids, and I was just like, "Dude, I don't know what I'm doing." I you love know, it. that's that's and the real shit. Like, that's what this life actually is. Yeah, that's yeah. real shit. Yeah, and he was he he owned a business, so oh. I that's the that's where my nine to five was. But he sold, and I still worked there. Okay, and after that, I was like, "Dude, I can't. I'm not going to do this." Yep. And I had I actually didn't even want to take over that that business anyway. It was a manufacturing shop for automotive parts. Um, yep. You know I loved the processes and all that, but I never like I just wanted to get out of that box. 
So you had the breakdown moment. When was that? Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, that was a year and a half ago or two years ago, maybe. And how long? So how long have you been doing stocks for? Well, you started it before. Three, you st- three years, in, really. But, but the first eight months was like all yeah, the back-end yeah. coding shit. Yep. Yeah. And so like basically you get it going, you start it, you start getting deliveries, and then, then, you, then you have your breakdown. You're like, maybe yep. this is the wrong move. Yeah. Yeah. You're not a real entrepreneur until you cry in front of somebody or on your fucking yeah. floor. Yep. <laughs> like yeah, I swear. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea of... You know, the emotional roller coaster is, is real. I'm, and I'm glad you're sharing that because, I mean, we, real. everybody has shared that so far and they've shared the goods and the bads. But, like, Troy and Derek, they were already here. They're through some of their big mistakes. Yeah. And they get to enjoy, like, watching people. Kept, like, every time you paddle, they're like, that's money. That's mm-hmm. money. Every time you ride a bike, they're getting paid. Right? And so that's cool. They, they, they can see. They, they've seen that. Horizon, they yeah. go over the horizon. They they see the sunset and they get the chill. Then now Troy never fucking chills. But yeah, no. But Troy gets he can sit back and be like, okay, this business is going to make it. Mm-hmm. Where you're still like, I think I can. Yeah. I think <laughs> I can. Right. And, yeah. But that's fucking. That's right where I love it. Man. Yeah. Like that is the shit. Yeah. Because that's what matters. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I had like at the time I broke down, I had like zero dollars in my yep. bank account, and yep. I'm like, the last thing I wanted to do was ask my dad for money. That's, Did you? that's when I know that's when I started working at JNS and you know, he was kind of like, you know, just go, go work for someone for a little bit, get some yep. money. Like you don't have to, you know, make a, you don't have to go get an office job or anything, but yep. just go make a little bit of money, pay your bills. Yep. You're, you're fine. You built something really cool. Yep. It's like, I'm proud of you. Love it. You know, just being a father. Um, Ellie, Ellie has the same story. Like she called her dad for like five grand. He's like, I can, but why don't you figure it out? Yeah. And she's like, okay, I'll figure it out. And yeah. said, you figure, instead of being like, Dad, can you give me $2,000? She's like, you know what? I'll take your advice instead. Yeah. And yep. that, that, that goes so much further. Yeah. I have this, I have a similar story, except like I was in real estate and I had a bunch of closings lined up, right? Lined up. But I was running out of, I had like 1500 bucks left to my name. And I called my buddy up. He's been, we've been homing since we were 12 years old. I said, listen, dude, I need two grand. Can you ship me two grand? He's like, what do you need it for? I'm like, this is what's going on. I got this, this, and this. These will definitely close, and I'll ship you. The, I'll ship it as soon as it close. I'll get your money back. And he's like, all right, fuck it. And he puts it in the mail. Right? I get it. A week la- uh, like um, not a, like three weeks later, all the deals are supposed to close. Close like twenty grand worth of deals. I ship him a check back for twenty one hundred bucks. I said, dinner's on me. Thank you so much. You, s- I never actually needed it. I got down to like five hundred. Right. I got down to five hundred, but knowing that was there, I was like, oh, oh shit. yeah. You know, and I had, like I said, he was a homie and we've done each, we've done each other favors like that when he's needed shit. I've been there for him. And so it's always nice to have somebody that can do that for you. And it's great when it's a parent who's an entrepreneur, right? Cause they know the struggle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, and then you're so, that's the cool part too. Again, it's funny how many people have had parents, Troy's parents were entrepreneurs, Ellie's parents were entrepreneurs. My dad wasn't, and I don't think Derek's parents were either, but like when they're there and you can learn that, what that looks like, that work ethic, that grind, you grew up with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I saw him. He built his manufacturing. I was there when he built the, the manufacturing plant, the, the building. building itself. Yeah, you know, um, he was forty-one years old. Eighteen years later, one hundred twenty employees sold the business. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> so you ground up. Yeah, ground up. Well, what do you want to tell anybody? If you had advice for somebody, all right, as we wrap this thing up here, if you had advice for a, a young person getting ready to start, how old are you, by the way? I'm thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So you got a young person ready to start, and you say to them, start now. Ooh. Start now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Dude, I wish I was 24 right now. Yep. You know, responsibilities just get grow and grow and grow, and you can build a business. If you have less responsibilities, you can build it faster. Yep. That's why I tell everybody. I'm like, listen, you are, you're 22 single, no kids, or you're 25, but, 25 married with no kids. Like, yeah. But I had... To learn responsibility. Sure. So it's like, I don't think I could have started it earlier, honestly. Yep. But if you have the mindset of being responsible, you know, get after it. Just get after it now. Start. Yeah. If you have an idea and you've been thinking about it, like, get out that laptop, get out a pad and paper, write down everything that's in your brain. It's never going to be perfect. It. Yeah. It's, it's never going to be perfect. Stop worrying about that, that. That's the one thing, too, is like, we built our, our site and like, it wasn't perfect, but yep. it got orders. But it was there. It got orders, and it worked. People were using it. Yep. Yeah, it was shit, but people saw value in it. That's okay. And that's okay, yeah. You you know? And then we 
rebuilt and built something way better. Yeah. Just fucking start. Yeah. What else? Give me one more than that. So now one you more. started. Now yeah. you started. All right, Brock, I'm starting. Fuck it. I got blah, 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 blah. <laughs> ideas, yeah. ideas. My, I yeah. got seven scratch pads. Now what? Oh, man. I haven't honestly thought about that. What really? piece of advice I would give. Don't be afraid to ask for help, I think. you know. And you've done that? Yeah. You had your friends? Yeah. And you said, fuck it. You want... I'm with you. I give business. I get. I always give parts of. I like partnerships. Yeah, because you can divide responsibility. Yep. And then when you do a partnership, they all know. Well, we're not getting paid, but we have ownership in the company, so let's make it work. Yep. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid to ask for help, and and don't be afraid to like figure things out. I mean, I know like, for a while there, I was like, I don't know who to ask, what to do, where to go, but yep. just if you have someone that you think can help you, don't be afraid to reach out and be like, hey. Do you belong to any groups? Like any like group, like any, any entrepreneurial groups or some shit. So Chase and I and um, oh, you guys have yeah. That? We had that like Founders Friday, yep. which is basically just a, like a networking event for all the founders in the area. That you know, if you can give five minutes a month to just one person for, to help them out with something, yep. In, introduction, yep. You know, whatever. That's like the goal. It's not really like anything crazy. Yeah. There's no like weekly meetings. There's no agenda. It's just, you get, but you're around like-minded yeah, people. Yeah, like-minded people. Would you say your dad's your, your biggest mentor in the entrepreneurial world? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. And yep. that's, it's, it's so it's so crazy. I mean, it's just, the whole idea of this podcast, right, is, is like is like all about being close to the right people. Mm-hmm. So you have your Founders Friday, you have your father, you have your business partners, you're around people that are just, they want you to succeed. They're not going to, I mean, they're not going to, like, they're going to give you the good advice and they're not going to tell you to stop. I'm right. trying to quit, like, oh, don't do that, or how's your little business going over here? That's what Ellie was saying. She was saying that, like, her friends don't really say her business sell or whatever. They go, how's your little dog treat business? And, she, and that's how they little. Right. Right? So, like, having that mentor and that group of people is so important. Yeah. Like, to me, that is that is the biggest thing. Being around the right people as much as you possibly can. Yeah. And, I, I and you know, with Ellie's point of, like, oh, you're just a little dog treat company, it was like, yeah. We also are just this little delivery company. Does, it, does anybody any of your friends say that to you? Like, yeah. how's your little delivery service going, Brock? <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> but you know, it's like you, I can, you know, I don't know. Like some people are probably like, you know, oh, that's cool. Like, I don't the gaslight a little bit. Like, oh, dude, that's so cool. But like, maybe they don't really care, or I don't know. Yeah, you know? No, no, I hear you. It's weird. They're not really it's supported. Weird. They're yeah. not really supporting it, but they're not hating on it. Um, you know, I wouldn't say like my real friends support it, hundred percent. Sure. Yep. You know. There's just, you know, p- maybe some people that I run into once in a while that are like, you know. Delivery boy. Yeah. And you're yeah. just a delivery boy. You're just a little delivery boy. Yeah, fucking yeah. right I am. Yeah. Right until, right until I have 1,700 <laughs> delivery boys <laughs> flying around this bitch yeah. delivering, and I'm fucking in Turks and Caicos, and yeah. then I'm no longer a little, del- you know what I mean? Like, but that's, <laughs> dude, that, that's where everything fucking starts. Yeah. yeah. With an idea that, that turns into just starting, mm-hmm. right? You have an idea, you start that. You go, you have the drive, you have the passion, you you don't want to do anything else ever again. So it's like I have to just fucking go until this till till I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, That's like it. literally I'm not giving up. Like I'll do whatever I gotta do to make this thing work. That's badass. Well listen, man, I don't want to keep you all day, but like I appreciate you I appreciate you because you you're right in the struggle. And yep. that is so hard. Oh, so it's hard. It's so hard to talk about, yeah. it's so hard to, to give up time. So the fact that you're here right now, I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing, you know, your your journey. How do we find you? Stock-up.com, man. Say it again? Stock-up.com. Dash across? Because when it comes to the dash, dash I'm like, I is know. it this way or is it looking this way? <laughs> yeah, it's the dash. Okay, so dash, not the, what's, what do they call yeah. this thing? Uh, slash? Slash? So it's a dash, not a slash. We'll put it on the screen, <laughs> oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll just put it on the screen, yeah. Sean. Last thing, thank you guys for supporting me. Yep. Small local entrepreneur, you know. Yep. Bree was like, dude, whatever we got to do to get you on there. Yep. Um, I'll talk to, to Sam and, and those guys, and, and it was like, done. We'll bring we'll bring on more units, and we'll get you on those. And I'm going to start telling I have, I have a lot of clients in the real estate world that are second homeowners. Yeah. That when they come into town, it's like, hey. Contact Brock. Contact to go to stock dash up dot com. Yeah. And fucking order that shit. He'll have it. You'll come home to a glass of red wine and whatever else you want. And some yeah. salmon in the fridge. And Don't let's have go. to worry about that three, four hour you should, um, jaunt into the stores. Do you know em- Emily Dodd? She's going to be on this podcast in a few weeks. Emily Dodd. Immaculate she, Homes. Yes. yes. Yep, she would yep, be a good person great. for you. Yeah. No, we're, we're, yeah, we are connected. Fuck. So, yeah. There yep. you go. 
Yeah. All right, brother. Thank you All so right, much. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. It's awesome, man. Thank <laughs> you.